What is SIBO? It's small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. The name is honestly fairly descriptive. It's excessive bacteria in the small intestine causing GI symptoms. Symptoms can include nausea, vomiting, abdominal distension, flatulence, bloating, and even diarrhea. In extreme cases, you can get vitamin deficiencies and weight loss. So why do people get it? Often it's associated with a process that causes digested food to stay in your small intestine longer than it should. For example, in diabetes, high sugars can cause damage to nerve cells. This slows down peristalsis and makes food hang out in your intestine longer than it should. If extra digested food is just chilling in your small intestine, it kind of makes sense that bacteria would start to grow in excess because they have extra food. Surgeries causing surgical alteration of your intestines can also cause SIBO. The surgical alterations might prevent gastric acid or digestive enzymes from reaching certain parts of your intestine. And normally these mechanisms help maintain gut balance and prevent out of control bacterial growth. You can diagnose it by going in with a scope and sucking fluid out of the small intestine and testing it for bacteria. Or you can do a breath test. As you might imagine, this can be treated with antibiotics. An often used one is rifaximin, but this can be expensive and is often not covered by insurance. There are cheaper options as well that are still effective.